Hey Google, do I have an Amazon shopping problem? Ah, uh, I uh, know well, yes, but you work hard, but still, kinda. <laughs> And welcome back to a new video of Fan Meets World. In this video, we are going to do an Amazon quarantine haul. And when I say quarantine, it's just an excuse because I bought a lot of things from Amazon in the last three months, especially during quarantine. Some of them were a few, like, started, technically my family started quarantining in February. That's not much of an excuse either, but that's why I have a lot of stuff. Anyway, let's get on to the haul. So since I bought a lot of things, I've decided to break them down into categories. There's beauty, there's tech, there's food slash drinks, um, survival preparedness, and miscellaneous. There's a lot within miscellaneous, that's why I'm just like, miscellaneous. So the first thing in beauty is actually, oh my god, okay, it's sheet masks. With the amount of time we've had to keep the mask on, my face has been breaking out. A lot of people call it like mask knee, I believe. And I know it's mask me because one, I don't break out too much and two, it's like kind of like below down here. So I decided to just invest in sheet masks to keep my skin moisturized and healthy feeling. So this is a pack of 100 for $40, which comes out to 40 cents per sheet mask, which in my opinion, it's pretty good. My two favorite ones I would say is the Aqua because this has hyaluronic acid and it's hyaluronic acid is actually very great for moisturizing your skin and vitamin C is great for hyperpigmentation because with my skin even if I didn't pop anything it still gets dark in those areas so I use the vitamin C to lighten them up and it's definitely made a huge difference I believe this is pronounce it Lenovi Lenov Lenovi something like that is a facial steamer any way that you put it I got this for about $27, $27.99, and I got it because Miss Remy Ashton uses a facial steamer. Mean Girls know that. I got a facial steamer because Miss Remy Ashton got a facial steamer. Comes with this little, it's really cute kitty um, hairband, and it helps pull away your hair. However, I have a big girl head, so it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna give this one to my mom. This is the extraction set it's, um, that it comes with, and it says manicure set. I do not use these for my nails. As for the next product, I got a wax warmer set. And this comes with actually four packs of beads. They're all in my drawer, but I just got my drawer organized, so I really don't want to grab them. However, this is a wax warmer, and it's the type of wax that's similar to sugaring, where you put it on, and you don't need the sheet to wax it off. So you put it on, let it dry, let it harden, and then you wax everything off. Actually, my mom bought this but my credit card is the one attached to our Amazon account, so I bought it. <laughs> so the next part of this haul is like technology-based type of thing. So I'm gonna start it off with these blue light glasses. Like this was mine that went to my brother because my dad took my brother's and my brother took mine. So I originally used this for charting and editing just so that I don't get strained because I have that little eye twitch thing in the corner of my eye that just like, that means eye strain. And it's to the point where I don't even feel the twitching anymore because I've had this eye twitch since um, college. But you they just do this and I don't know, they're pretty cool. I look like a scientist. Next item actually helps me with my cords and it is a cord organizer. Um, it comes with this longer strip that has, that can include five cords. I believe I can take it out. Five holsters for five cords. And there's one that's a little bit bigger and bigger version of the two cords, which is three, and I actually put them at the side of my desk because I use my desk as a side, <laughs> excuse me. It's a great organizer rather than like feeling around the bottom of my bed for every cord and like, nope, nope. I've had way too much coffee. <laughs> I'm like hyped up. <gasps> oh no. Next item actually inspired all of the fitness things that are going on in my house because every year around summer, my family gets like a fitness kick and it's not for like beach body or anything. It's just, it's like spring cleaning, but like summer toning for us. So I got us a new scale and it actually connects to an app. It's called V-Sync Fit. The company here is a tech city at the bottom and 
it tells you weight, your BMI, body fat, fat-free body fat, simultaneous fat, visceral fat, body water, skeletal muscle, muscle mass, bone mass, protein, BMR, metabolic age. So this scale was $27.99 and for something that lasts us about 10 years or so, or if we really take care of it, that's not a bad purchase. So highly recommend. The next category is food slash drinks. Honestly, it's just drinks because all the food has been thrown away so I can't really show you. But this is oat milk and it's been my holy grail out of the entire quarantine. Um, as someone who has like PCOS, I definitely try to stay away from dairy as much as possible but not entirely. So I limited my dairy intake by using this one. It's highly recommend. Honestly, it makes protein shakes and coffees and my matcha lattes taste really, really good. And I like it when it froths up in our frother. So the next item is actually on the other half. That one is to help me get energized and this one is to help me calm down. And this is the Tiavana Harmonic Mint. It's such a nice mint tea and I like it right before bed. It just helps me calm down relax while leaving me refreshed, especially it's been kind of a warmer weather. So I haven't tried it ice, but I definitely really want to. So the next topic is emergency preparedness. And as soon as I heard we were, it was a pandemic and that there's probably gonna be locked out, I immediately bought a new preparedness backpack because living in NorCal, we were taught at a very young age to have a bin, put extra clothes in it, put like emergency backpack food, just for a case of emergencies. And it's been years since we went through that and everything was definitely expired. So, I got this mother of all pearl. Oh my god, go down. <laughs> it's actually really heavy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> so I got this pack pack and it comes with a lot of things. Let me list them out for you. So this is called the Rescue Guard First Aid Kit. Hurricane Disaster Earthquake Emergency Survival Bag. So it's a 72 hour sustainability bag, which means it has enough for four people. I believe it's four people for three days and it has water, food, tent, ponchos, rope, light, first aid kit, survival compass, fire starter, thermal blankets. Just Google, like just Amazon this. There's so many things inside of here. So inside it definitely has a lot of things. It's not the sturdiest backpack so if you want to transfer all these things to a better backpack, I recommend it because I can see where it would fray later on but then the supplies inside is pretty good. So it has the masks, first aid kit, emergency first aid. Oh, so I guess this is just like a more portable one. And oh my goodness, what is this big thing? Emergency lantern. I definitely highly encourage you guys to go through an emergency checklist online and see if you have anything because it's definitely like a radio is important. And speaking of this, the next item is actually really correlated to this one. And it is a solar powering, solar power? So solar powered charger and it actually has two flashlights and it's pretty bright. I don't want to flash you guys so I'm gonna go sideways maybe like this but my phone definitely charges with it. I just put it right on top and then I turn it on and it's charging. This item is $22.99 with 5% extra if you click the box right under the price. It's pricey however it is 20,000 milliamps so it can charge several phones it definitely has lasted us a while you don't have to get too many of them just get one for the entire family just in case of emergencies so the next items in this emergency preparedness is not actually super emergent but i felt like it was necessary for a pandemic where you have to stay at home and it is board games my family has been trying to collect more board games over years and we definitely have so I was like let's shake it up by getting more. One Night Werewolf. This is the first board game. It's not really a board game as to just it feels like mafia but with characters. You, you There's certain things you're trying to figure out. It's really addicting because you're trying to mislead people you're trying and everyone there's like the seeker there's the werewolf there's a the minion who helps the werewolf and it's basically the villagers versus the werewolf and the minion and you just get to argue and it's an acceptable argument. You get to trick your family, and <laughs> it's definitely a very, very fun game for my family. Oh my goodness, I need to film us playing this once at least. So the next game is Dutch Blitz, and I actually learned about this when I went to Boston early on in the year. And it's a mixture of solitaire and speed, if you know that card game. It's just a mixture of both, and you're definitely playing against each other, and you're it's several rounds because you're trying to get points. If you have, like, there's three decks, and if you have a certain number, like, you try to count all the points up, which means you can go negative, or you can go positive, but the point is you want to reach, it's up to you guys, it's you, to reach 75 points, and whoever does 
and how many like you can take 10 rounds you can take five rounds but it's definitely family friendly and super super fun so the last category is miscellaneous and this is a lot of miscellaneous uh where do i even start okay this is a shoe cleaner i actually got into this because of my best friend rachel it's a jason mark premium shoe cleaner she said something that there was a store the professionally shoe cleaning or like a sneaker cleaning store and this is what they use so i use these to clean my brother's air force ones when i got him for his birthday for his 17th birthday and for a 17 year old boy he definitely got them dirty really fast so this one helps a lot i'll try to include some clips of me before and after i believe i took some but i really do like this it's very gentle it comes with a brush with this brush i cleaned them don't worry it's and I just keep them in the packaging so I don't lose them and I've cleaned so many shoes with this and it's it's still all the way up here these are just bubbles so you just need a couple drops of this in water and BAM it's clean the next item is my label maker this actually went on sale for less than $20 so I definitely hopped on that because during the pandemic and staying at home I wanted to organize everything label everything and it's been my best friend ever since so the next items I actually use for work these are my notebooks they're they have a suede feel to them there's four but the one I'm currently using um, for work and I don't want to bring it out because that comes from the hospital these are the three I've yet to use and they're very comparable to the moleskin the moleskin this is my moleskin uh, notebook that I got from my friend Athena. It has a leathery feel, whereas this is suede. However, the price difference was definitely a pro. It honestly allows me enough room to date them, put memos on the top, and it's bendable, and then it comes with a little bookmark. So I really did enjoy this purchase. Most of my purchases actually, most if not all, I actually do really enjoy because I do buy a lot of stuff, but I do put into thought what I buy and their usages. So the last item for this haul is finally we made it, is this vacuum pump. I went to Boston early on in the year, so obviously this purchase was made before the quarantine, but it's so cool I needed to include it. Um, I went to Boston and it was going to be really cold and I only had um, a carry-on. You attach the pieces together, you attach the pieces together, and then this part goes here and then you just turn it on after plugging it in. Normally the bags are pump are in, they come like this. And it's and it sucks out all the air and it actually re made traveling really easy because of course I have to bring this with me so that all my things can fit on the way back. And it's very portable, it's very durable, it's lasted me this long and it hasn't really shown signs of too much usage. So I recommend that too. So that is finally the end of our never ending Amazon haul. And this kind of taught me to stop buying from Amazon but at the same time how useful amazon is because i don't regret any of the things that i bought and have actually been really really helpful so hope you have a great sunday and see you soon bye